Welcome back to another video. It's gonna be a basketball video about what was it about the oh, Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta Hawks video, basketball video. Um, yeah, I have two videos. If you wanna go watch those, are uh, Baltimore O's feature and Cincinnati Bengals feature AJ Green. I mean Joe Barrow, AJ Green. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get right into it. So guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about the Atlanta Hawks. So, let's get into it. So, first thing you think of the Hawks, uh, you guys might think they're, like, trash. They could be in some some ways, some ways. They could be, like, pretty garbage. You might think they're garbage, but they could be a decent team. That A decent team, a playoff team, if you watch, what's it called, Last Dance. That, that, you're, that, they're, you probably think they're a decent team. So, let's get into the main part. Okay, first we'll start off with the past. Start off with their best players from the 60s and 70s. That is from that. And that is most likely, if you guys don't know him, his name is Bob Pettit. 25, 25 points per game, 11 rebounds, and like 4 assists. It's a good stats, some good stats. He was one of their best players all time. Maybe behind Dominic Wilkins or something. You could debate about those two for a lot. For a long time, so yeah, that's you. He's he was probably their main, like one of their best players of all time. Now let's get into uh, what uh, the eighties. That you guys probably already know that if you watched Last Dance, Dominic Wilkins. You could probably debate uh, Dominic Wilkins and Lenny Wilkins. That that's a good team. That that was one of their best teams. They're the the four seeds. Yeah, they were a four seed for a long time. Well, I guess, but they think they would always lose to the Bulls or something. So, yeah. Next, let's go to the thousands. We're combining all those players to make their all-time team. The, from the thousands, they have some good players. So, you already know Dikembe Mutombo. But, he, yeah, he's good. But, John and then Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson was probably a shooting guard scorer. He, had, he is one of the most game winners in, of all time, he's like, and one is MJ or LeBron, I don't know, Kobe, Paul Pierce is there, and then Joe Johnson. Just Joe Johnson's the one that nobody knows about, but is good. He's one of, he's a good scorer, 20 points, 21. And now, so their all time lineup, you're probably thinking, well, all of those you already said, I know, so yeah, let's combine, but you might not know some of their positions. You already know the Kim Baby Tumbos. It's easy. Point guard, Lenny Wilkins. Eight, eight, 17 points per game. Like, five assists. With Oh, with that team, he's going to average like seven assists. Definitely. And then, the shooting guard, Joe Johnson, scorer, averaging 20, 20, yeah, probably 18 points on this team. Averaging probably three assists on this team, or four, four assists on this team, with maybe about five, six rebounds, six, yeah, I would go five rebounds. Then Dominique Wilkins, probably the leader of the team, 25 points per game on that team. 25, no, yeah, maybe 25. 25 points per game. Uh, Maybe like two assists, no, yeah, three assists, three assists. And then probably six rebounds, six rebounds, somewhere like that. He's main, mainly those the three, their back court, their front court is probably the best. Dikembe Mutombo and uh, Bob Pettit. Bob Pettit's a power forward. Dikembe Mutombo is a center. I would say Bob Pettit averaging 23 points per game, thir like 12 rebounds, and maybe a couple assists, two assists. And then his defense is, like, pretty good. His blocks are, I think he has one block per game. Yeah, he has one blocks per game. Then, then here's like their defense. Their main defensive guy is Dikembe Mutombo. He was their main defensive guy, probably averaging up to 15, 14 points per game, uh, 11 rebounds, probably two or one assist, two blocks, two blocks, and maybe like maybe uh, 0 0.9 assists. There you go. So that's their line. Now let's get into the present right now. So. Let's start from like the 2011. In the two, in two, 2011, they were good. They were good. 
You're like, and eh, then Al Horvath, Paul Millsap, maybe for a little bit. Young Paul Millsap, young Al Horvath. That team was, they were almost a playoff team. Wizards right now. Wizards are, Wizards are uh, Bulls right now. Something like that. Then, 2012 and 13 season, they were getting better. They they added Jeff Teague to their lineup. And Kyle Horvath was already there, getting into his almost prime. And then, we got 2013 and 2014. That they were almost a playoff team, almost got to the that playoff spot. They were probably the ninth seed still. And then twenty fourteen, fifteen, that was they were they got better. They were the probably the eight seed, eight seed something like that. Now twenty fifteen sixteen. You guys probably might already know this, but if you don't, if you watch other YouTube channels, you probably already know this. The Hawks were the one seed. They had Jeff Deeg. A good point guard, averaging eight, 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 eight assists, something like that. Then they had a nice all-star shooting guard. It shouldn't have been an all-star. 14 points per game, Kyle Corver. Small forward, they had, like, uh, Torian Prince, I think. Yeah, Torian Prince. Uh, probably their worst player, weakness. Then power forward, they had Paul Millsap. At their, an all-star that year, I think. And then they had their leader, Al Horvath. Al, they had... Probably one of the best backcourt, the uh, front courts in the league. So now let's get into 2016, 2016 17 Cavs, the year that the Cavs won. They got upset. It that was no, they got upset it in twenty fifteen, and then in twenty sixteen seventeen, they they were like they fell down a little bit. Everyone thought they were gonna just win the championship and all, but no, they came to the three, you no, know, the five seed. They made it to the playoffs and all. But then, in 2017-18, they fell down a lot. So now everyone's thinking they're, fell, they're gonna fall down. Yeah, they did, to the eight seed. Now, 2017-18, no, they, were, they weren't in the playoffs in, like a lot, for a long time. But, 2019 to 2018-19, people said they were gonna be the first, number one pick. No, they didn't, they got like the fourth pick. Then traded it, that, no, they got, they got traded. No, they traded, so the Pelicans traded their first round pick to them, which the Lakers first traded it. And then, now, they, yeah, then, in 2019-20, they are in rebuild mode. They're rebuilding. So now, let's get into the main part. Let's, we're talking about three players, Trey Young, John, John Collins, and Clint Capella. So first, let's start off with Trey Young. So he is getting into his prime. No, not his prime yet. He's getting into a young player. They could build around him a lot, and John Collins maybe. But he's going to be averaging probably twenty seven, twenty five points throughout his whole career. Twenty five to thirty points per game throughout his whole career. He's going to in his prime. He'll probably average twenty nine point no thirty points, ten assists. Probably a couple of rebounds, three rebounds, and then defensive stats are probably garbage. So he sucks on defense. And now I think he'll stay because he probably, if their team gets better, but I think their team will get better. Probably, uh, I'll I'll get to that later. So then now, so we already know Trey Young's gonna stay. Now John Collins, I I think John Collins and Clint Capella, they're gonna stay together. I think they're gonna get in a trade. And Kevin Herter, they're gonna just just saying he, he's gonna get traded. They're gonna get traded to the Sixers, but this is a good trade. They both get some young talent. They get Josh Richardson and Joel Embiid. That's a good trade. And so now their team is Trey Young, Josh Richardson, and Joel Embiid. Now he has another All Star uh, along. Of Trey Young, jo Joel Embiid, they they just need to get someone that wasn't a crybaby. But Trey Young could probably work for that. But they need better defense, so I think they should just get some more defensive players, and they're probably going to be one of a good team. So I think they're probably going to be a championship contender in probably twenty twenty five twenty six. That they're going to be a good team. Probably Trey Young in his prime, 26 points, 29 points per game, 30. Josh Richardson, 15 points per game. Jo uh, Joel Embiid, 24 points per game. Boom, that team is good uh, right off the bat. So now, 
the, now let's talk about like their yeah their future. Their future is gonna be good. We already told you tw championship team. They're probably gonna be a playoff team in 2022, because uh, that's probably when the trade will go down. At once, uh, uh, everyone's probably like a close to free agent, and yeah, that's what I think will happen. And let's go to the high high rate re real. You guys, this is a game against a better team than them, and as you see, they're probably gonna keep some young younger players. Like maybe they, they should keep at least. Uh, maybe, uh, keep Cam Reddish, maybe, yeah, keep, maybe keep Cam Reddish and DeAndre Hunter, but everything else, I think they should go keep Dwayne Dedman, so they have, and get some more bench players and some veteran players, as you see, they're, they just, they're losing now, and, yeah, this, and as you see, if, when Vince Carter retires, they're gonna be, a little bit bad. They need more adventure players like Andre Iguodala or J.R. Smith. That's one. Maybe Tyson Chandler, too. I don't know. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. And bye.